Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since my last video and since my last manicure, and that is all because a new client has appeared in my life. Today I want to keep my nails very simple, but freshen them up with a different color and maybe add a few decorative elements. So let's get straight to work and take down some of the length. I'm keeping my nails in a shorter square shape as this is the most convenient for me and I just love the way my nails look in this shape. And because there is no lifting, I don't need to take the product down completely. In fact, leaving a thin layer of the prior product behind is ideal as this will serve as an additional layer of protection for the nail plate. Once I've cleaned up the prior product, it's time to clean up the cuticle area. So with my nail trail using a flame bit with blue abrasion, or in other words medium abrasion, I'm cleaning up the dry cuticle.
remove the lifted and dry cuticle, I'll be using one of my favorite nail trails. This amazing cordless nail trail from Melody Susie. And I always recommend it to all of you because I really just love the performance and it's super convenient to work with. Listed down below in the description box, I have a link for this nail drill along with some of my favorite products that you can find right off of Amazon. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to take a peek because I'm sure you'll find something there that you'll simply love. Everything is nice and cleaned up, so now it's time to prep for the new product. Last time I asked all of you which product you would like to see more in my videos, and one of my subscribers, Marina, really wants to see some more videos with dip powder. I've already done a few videos on my channel with dip powder, but it has been a while. So what do you guys think? Is it time to bring out the dip powder and create a simple and fun design? Let me know down in the comment section below, or which products you guys would like to see more of. Today I will be strengthening my nails in a Milky Builder Gel. I just love the way this product holds on my nails and how it looks.
and now for a design and I think you guys are really going to like it. Today I will be using two different colored base coats. The first one is this creamy base with beautiful flakes of gold. It's going to look so beautiful over the Milky Builder gel and the golden flakes will add just the right amount of design. The second color is this pretty olivey green. I'll be applying this in one thin layer, leaving us with a semi-transparent color that I think will really complement the creamy base with those hints of gold. And as for my thumbnail, I'll be creating a simple and a really unique French tip. After the olive color has cured underneath the lamp, I'm taking the same creamy base from earlier and filling in the smile line. And to even everything out and take care of any small step between the two products, I'm coating everything in a glossy top coat. You could also complete this step with a base coat, but some bases leave a yellowish tint behind, so in order not to risk that with the creamy tip, uh, using a glossy top coat would be ideal. And once that is cured underneath the lamp, I'm sealing everything in a velvety matte top coat. And now for the finishing touch. Mixing together a black gel paste and a poly gel, I'm creating a small decorative element on top of my thumbnail. I wanted this to look like a stroke of oil paint left on the painter's palette, but of course we are not just leaving it black. After it is cured, I'm going over this element in a beautiful shimmery golden chrome powder.
Now to remove any excess and then very carefully coat this element in a glossy top coat, making sure to avoid the rest of my nails so that we can keep everything else matte. And we are finished. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you liked today's video and found it helpful, then please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. And until next time.